Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at a very inexpensive uh, way to uh, store some food or just have something for on the go without your refrigeration. Uh, these are the Hormel Complete Chicken and Dumplings. Um, so yeah, before we get into this one, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that uh, notification bell so you can be updated when I'm going to be uh, posting videos, which is almost daily. Um, so yeah, uh, this has got 8 grams of protein in it, ready in 60 seconds. Uh, this one's going to be 190 calories. These are 7.5 ounces, or 213 grams. And uh, if you would like, you can read the ingredients and the nutrition. These are pretty simple to um, prepare. So you need to vent the tray, microwave it for a minute, and let it stand for a minute, and then remove, serve and enjoy. So, without further ado, let me go get this uh, heated up per the instructions, and I will be right back. All right, so I have heated this up per the instructions uh, that was provided. Uh, what I usually do when I heat these is I actually, it just says vent and it shows up one peeled corner. But I actually, uh, I will, before I throw it in the nuker, I will peel both corners so that you can get air flowing through both directions. Just to kind of evenly heat it. I'm not going to bother putting this on a tray. Because it comes in its own bowl. No point in making things dirty if you don't need to. So there we are. It is warm. You got little pieces of potato here. It's, it's not watery. It's got a good consistency to the uh, sauce there. It's got ch little pieces of chicken as you can see. But uh, other than that, let's get in and see what we uh, got here. I haven't actually had this one yet, so... Hmm. Not bad. Honestly, it, uh... I'm gonna grab another one of those. Hold on a minute. I'm liking the gravy. The chicken's flavorful. I mean, you definitely de taste the potatoes. But the potatoes is more like, um mashed potato consistency. That's good. The potatoes are a little chewy. I'm not, yeah, a little chewy, a little doughy. But I like the consistency, to be honest. They're almost like little dough balls. But overall, not bad. It doesn't need a... Uh... It doesn't need its own... It uh, doesn't need any flavoring or anything. I'm, I mean, if you wanted to, you could put some uh, pepper in here. Or... Do have a fresh bottle of Tabasco? Let's, let's try a little bit of that. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know why, but this just reminds me of biscuits and gravy for some reason. I have no idea why. Hmm. There we go. Let's try some of that. Hey, that's not bad at all. I 
Actually, I think the uh, Tabasco actually complements it. If you're wondering what I'm doing with the tray, I'm just using it as a... Just to, that I'm not spilling anything with the spoon. Yeah, I think the Tabasco is actually a good idea. Nice little, nice little, uh, quick little, little meal there. Obviously, you could supply more of your stuff, but you know, these are really cool. I, I like these because you don't actually have to heat these to eat them. And two, if you're, you know, you're out in the bush or you're out camping, you could literally just toss this in a pot of boiling water and just boil it like that if you wanted to heat it up. And they, I think they're, they last about, about a year, uh, uh, I haven't tested anything for like long long distance. Maybe I'll store one actually and uh, we can t taste it uh, test it uh, After the expiration to see how they do but other than that, I think uh, I Think these are great. They're really they're they're inexpensive. They're not very you know I'll I'll leave a link in the description of where I bought these on Amazon uh, So you guys can go and take a look uh, I buy them by the case, so, anyway, uh, so thanks for watching, guys, um, until next time, have a good one.